Good morning, welcome back to BT. Even if you haven't got a million dollars, tax time is upon us, and we've got Cleo Hamill joining us from H&R Block with a look at some great stories of what you can and can't claim as a deduction. And we start with the story of the farmer who got to write off his pets. I get this question all the time. I have dependents and they name off all the kids and John and Jimmy and Sam and yep. Jake. And then and there's you think, Fluffy Fine. and Mittens and... No, Jake is the dog. Oh. And you can't. People are buying insurance for their pets. Sure. So if you're being able to do that, why can't you claim? You cannot came, claim any pets. However, in the case of the, of the farmer, okay. because the pets actually work on the farm, they are a critical uh, element to keeping rats and mice and that type of thing away from everything they have, they were able to claim them. Now, I will make a clarification if you have a service dog okay totally different concept it Very. is a medical expense and you can claim that but you can't just because you have a pet and you pay insurance and it's expensive if i if i call my lap dog my baby it doesn't change things doesn't in the eyes of the government things. that's right okay uh that's right. let's let's go on uh two brothers um who, who uh had sizable winnings when it came to gambling and the judge said that um that uh, the money was won by chance they had no real plan and yeah. therefore they got to keep the, all the it cash it was like dumb luck this was an amazing operation. Two brothers sitting at home, pizza boxes and, and pop cans strewn all over the apartment. Not much in terms of a living accommodation. They had a handful of runners who would go to the uh, convenience stores to lay bets on, and I'm not sure which sports betting game it was, but it was one of those okay. types of arrangements. And you're only allowed to buy so many at each store. That's why they had runners that had to go to different locations. Gotcha. Well, they sent the guys out with the money, they did phenomenally well and were making in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So the CRA, of course, wants to have their cut of that. Sure. Because how are they sustaining themselves? Yeah, they had no business plan. It was pure luck. The fact that they managed to do this and the court said, you know what, you can't go after them for this. And they never had to pay a cent on it. Because it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't uh, money structured. they had. It wasn't structured, but it wasn't money they weren't earning. They were just getting lucky. They were lucky. They were lucky on it. And like I said, because there wasn't a structure to how they were earning it, because sometimes they would win some, sometimes they would lose some. Right. So, but yeah. Okay, how about a uh, lawyer who quits his job to become a gambler full time? How's course, that one different? You know what? He uh, quit his job, uh, didn't want to be a lawyer anymore, and he had this system he was going to use uh, to go gambling. The whole point, though, was to be able to write off the losses, because as we all know, to gamble uh, and to actually be successful, you got to be losing money sure. as well as winning. So his whole point was being able to write off the losses against some of the earnings, and this was his business. Like any other business expense? Absolutely. Again, the courts looked at this, and he really didn't have any plan. His system wasn't really uh, structured on any basis of, of merit. Um, he really was just trying to get away with not having to claim. He was still kind of running his law office on the <laughs> side, so it was kind of trying trying to offset the two. Are you a lawyer or are you a gambler? And in the end, the courts threw it out and he ended up having to uh, deal with the losses and got nothing back for it. So even the lawyers don't get it right. What, what's the number one thing people try to get away with uh, when it comes to their claims and can't? For the most part, it's expenses. Um, individuals who are able to write off office expenses from home right. or vehicle expenses. Um, a story of a gentleman who used his home office was a lawyer and used to have an office set up and had a television s system set up, wanted to write off that expense. When the CRA audited him, they went into his home and found that he had a whole bunch of kids' videos lined up in the cassette recorder, and they turned around and said, you're not using this television for work, you're using it personally. They wouldn't allow the expense. You know, people who I've seen who try to claim the trip across Canada with the kids for vacation, and they write that off as a business expense. You really need to make sure you're keeping track of those things because when they come and look, they will look into all the details. They will find it out. They will. Simple as that. Uh, for all the information and if you need some help with your return, it's all at breakfasttelevision.ca. We'll find the link to the h and block right there. Going to take a break. Still plenty to come on BT.